It's I think hello. How are you everybody? I think it is better if we start right away from the beginning. This is Act 1 and this is the beginning of the play. It is written as you see in italics and this means that here we have state directions. Now Arthur Miller at the beginning tells us about the stage and the, the decoration of the of the play. So I think we are going to listen to a melody played upon a flute and it is a small fine telling of the grass and the trees and the horizon. And this is before the curtain rises. When the curtain rises, what do we see? We could see a salesman's house, that is there is a flat and we are going to see the protagonist, that is Willie Newman, is entering to his flat. And we are uh, aware of big uh, skyscrapers at the ground of the flat. So there are towers, angular shapes behind it, surrounding it in all sides. Only the blue light of the sky falls upon the house and for stage. The surrounding area shows an angry glow of orange. As more light appears, we see a solid board of apartment houses around a small, fragile, seeming home. An ear of the dream clings to the place a dream rising of reality. And this is very important since here, Arthur Miller focuses on the idea of the dream. This will bring us or will lead us to know something about the techniques used in the play. The play here, as you see, uh, uh, is uh, written with uh, two schools, with two literary schools in mind, at naturalism and expressionism. Arthur Miller focuses on both two schools, naturalism and expressionism. So the, 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 the stage directions involved you see, as we see at the beginning of the scenes of the two acts, this, this indicates that here we have uh, naturalism, because one of the dictates of naturalism is to tell the audiences, to tell the readers, to tell the directors about the stage, about the, the, the makeup of the characters about their movements, about their intentions, their ideas, their move on the stage. Everything related to the characters, to the stage is written and is told, is narrated, uh, is, is, is informed, that is, by, by, the, by the writer. See? So, the, the, this is naturalism. While Expressionism focuses on, on dreams, on recollections, something related to memories, everything that is related to hallucinations, to uh, going back in dreams, to reveries, whatsoever, to nightmares, you see, is related to expressions. This means that the characters, or at least one of the characters, you see, one, one of the main characters in this play is going to use or to depend on expressionism. That is, he will or she will dream. That is, most of the time, she will dream or he will dream. And this is true, in fact, on Willie Lumen. We will see Willie Lumen all the time recollects or there will be some time in which he comes to reality, you see, to see his side, to talk with his wife 
or to talk with his uh, neighbor Charlie, or even with his two sons. But sometimes he will be uh, he will be away from there, uh, from from his consciousness. That is why he is talking with his wife Linda, for instance, in the kitchen. His mind is far away. He dreams far away from her. He will remember uh, his uh, past. He will remember his uh, going uh, to Boston one day. He will recollect his meeting with a certain girl while he was a young man. You see? So, and even he will remember the, the childhood. You see, of his two sons, uh, and he will. We will listen, in fact, to the dialogue uh, <clears throat> between with Happy and their father, even with the, their mother. You see, uh, had that everything happened in the past. One day we will see that that is, Willie's brother, later brother, will come to see uh, Willie, his brother. So these things, you see, are related to the past. But in the present, Willie Newman, you see, is, is, is one, for one time, he is aware of, of his presence, you see. But on some other time, he will remember, he will go. So he is divided. I mean, his mind is divided between two, you see, things, reality and illusion, reality and hallucination, reality and dreams. To some critics, Willie Lumen is considered as, 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 a, as, a, as a man of, of, of fantasy, a man who lives in his own imaginations. Yeah, this is true, and we will see. So, uh, 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 Willie Lumen, you see, will, will remember, will, will go, you see, to, to his time. Through that, through that, we will know the past of the family, the past of the, of the society, you see, uh, at the time, when the, the play begins and the time before the play begins. That is, the, the events, you see, will, will, will cover a very long span of time in New York. New York, yeah, that, is star that starts from the, what is called the Great Depression. That is, that happens uh, in 19... 1929, you see, that the collapse of the, of the, of, of the, the world economics and especially the collapse of the American economy at that time. So uh, 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 Arthur Miller uh, gives us a chronological sequence of events that is starting from scene three and you see and, and what follows later but at the beginning in scene one and scene two we will see the reality that is willy lumen is is an old man uh, he uses to go outside the flat in order to work and he goes you see from new york to other cities to boston to south carolina you see, uh, selling his goods, depending on, on his personal re relationships, and at the same time using his old Chevy. That Chevy means Chevrolet. So the, the, the chronological, you see, sequence of events will start from scene three and scene four, and then that follows. In scene two, we will see we, uh, the, uh, Willie's two brothers, that is uh, Happy, Happy and Biff. Happy and Biff, you see, will talk about their father's problems. Happy will talk his brother 
Biff about his father's problems and he also will tell him that all the time his father kept telling his name and he, he, he imagined, I mean the father imagined as happy tells his son, elder son Biff and he talks as if he sees him, as if he, you see, is aware of his presence in the flat. So uh, there are problems facing the father. You see, what, are, what is the problem with the father? The father uh, 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 remembers his son, Biff, and he, one day, he uh, thinks very highly of Biff, but suddenly something happens, you see, that changes the mind of everybody in the family. Willie Lumen uh, considers his son as a complete failure or a bomb, great bomb. You see, as he tells his uh, wife, Melinda, at the beginning of scene one. See, Link and also uh, he, the, Biff, considers his father as a fake, as phony. You see, that is the, 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 the uh, ideal image of a father shut, suddenly was shattered in, the, in, in, in Biff's mind. This is very important. This is very important to know. You see? So, uh, this is one thing. The other thing we have to be aware of, that as uh, Biff remembers, uh, we are not going to see his remembrances, his memories, uh, his recollections staged or enacted on the stage. On the contrary, whatever Biff remembers is, is staged, is performed. And, uh, and here we have to differentiate. That is not all the characters who share recollections you see, their recollections are a stage or performed, except Willie Lugman. This is, this is meant by Miller. Miller wants to focus on this idea. That is, the, 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 the worker here, the worker here, represented by Willie Lugman, faces, in fact, failure or faces disappointment of his family, of the economic system, of the competitive system, you see, uh, in which he lives and in which he finds himself, you see. So there are a lot of things to be said here at the beginning. And in C1, as you will see when we read, we will see that there are a lot of uh, social uh, social attacks, uh, social critiques uh, given by Willie Luhrmann, you see, since he is the, mouth, the mouthpiece of the writer, to the society. That is, he attacks the society. He talks about the, the, plan, the clearing of a plantation happened one day at the establishment or foundation of big cities like New York. He attacks the competitive system of the, uh, of the American economics. He talks about the way people were canned or, 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 uh, or lived in big skyscrapers or large buildings or a flat. That is the modern housing, you see. He says, he says, or he uses, you see, very important idea, the, the idea that he uses is cage or encaged. You see, the verb engage and the word is cage. You see? And he, he thinks he thinks that the people are encaged or can't better. You see, can't in large in large buildings. So in in in, 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 in we are we are not happy to live, or we should not think that we are happy to live in houses or in modern flats. In fact, we are, we are canned. And this is the modern 
mentality of housing people. So Arthur Miller at the beginning attacks modernism. You see, uh, attacks uh, the, 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 the way people uh, lived and the way people uh, uh, designed their, their, their houses, their building, their cities, whatsoever. See? So there are a lot of things here. Even Arthur Miller, through Willy Lumen, attacks the, 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 uh, the American products represented by the American cheese, the American cars, automobiles, you see. Uh, and he, he focuses on his Chavez, old Chavez. He says that it's bad. And uh, for, for and uh, the, the, the cheese also is bad. The American cheese is bad as compared to the, uh, the, the Swiss uh, cheese. So here in the beginning, at the beginning, uh, Arthur Miller or Willie Lumen, see, Willie Lumen Willie is, is in fact attacking uh, the, the society uh, through uh, a lot of, uh, say, uh, social phenomena. Yeah. Now, as we, uh, in, as in scene two, scene two, we, we, I said that uh, we will see Willy Loom, we will see Biff and Happy talk about their father. Yeah. So far, so far, this is reality. This is reality. But the recollections, well, these recollections will start chronologically from scene, uh, from scene two, as uh, from scene three. See, yeah, uh, and this is the end of our uh, lecture for today. Thank you.